Well, this isn't good. If I miss, I hit my camera. Today, I'm at a brand new course I've never played today. This is called Archer's Park in Lawrence, Kansas. Nine hole course. It's in a state park. You have to pay $5 for the day, $25 pass. And there's another 18 hole course called Bob Mowry's, like a few miles away. Let's just jump straight into it. Nine hole course out in Lawrence, Kansas. So this is hole one. It is 275 feet and it's just gonna be up there below the trees. And the tee pads are, they look like kind of like rubber mats. It's coming at us, do a low hyzer. First toss of the day. Let's just try the crank at it. Well, uh, that's pretty parked. Let's go find out. Crank landed up here. Got pretty close, especially for how much wind's out here right now. So let's just push this in with the sky gun. It's been one of my go-to putters lately. <sighs> Keeping it low. Here we go, off the hole too. Hole two, 277 feet. This one's actually straight across the road. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try this Undertaker I got at Played Against Sports for like 10 bucks in Topeka. Highly recommend going out there. And if you do, Jordan Ashford, he helps run the disc golf community here. Knows a lot about disc golf, starter, beginner, advanced. Give him a talk and he'll help you choose what disc is best for you. But they've got some awesome stuff in that used bin selection too. And this is one of the ones I got. <sighs> a little bit of a hyzer. I'm right, but hey. Ooh, wind's picking up, I tell ya. It didn't say this was OB. But you could play it OB with like a really tight island. Let's go ahead and try to push this in. Pretty much downhill into the woods after this shot. Push it in with the Sky God. Oh, close. So yeah, this is a different way of putting a cage in the ground. So this cage ain't going nowhere <laughs> for a long time. Off the hole three. Okay, change of pace. Hole three. It's going to be straight ahead down there. 400 feet. Yes, I said 400 feet. Um, you've got a lot of thickness to the right. What's cool is you've got double tee pads here. So I guess you can go on that right way or try to go that left route. So here we go. Wind's blowing this way, right? Yep, towards the woods. I want to go straight at it, but I know I'm going to go in the woods. So I'm going to try a flex shot. I love cranks and this is one of the reasons why I carry a crank SS. It's going to hold whatever line I put it on longer than the crank and then come out of it so if I were to throw a crank here it'd probably come out too quick and I go OB in the road so I'm gonna try my crank SS and flex that Annie shot and hopefully it comes out and just kind of lands not in the woods and not in the road here we go Hat's coming off for this one. Yeah, 
you know what? I'm by the tree out there. I will take it. It's a great example of a hole of what are you most comfortable with? A flick, a hyzer, what? For me, wind's blowing this way. If I throw a putter and I try to go right, I think it's just gonna catch that wind and push it. If I try to flick and miss and hit the ceiling, I'm gonna fall in front of the trees. That's still 10 plus feet out. Let's go ahead and try something that I feel comfortable with. It's a 14 speed rask, keeping it low and just trying to get to the right and have it come in. Here we go. Rolled fin five to seven feet to the right of the basket back there. Didn't get as far as I'd like with the rask. Well, I got a little too far with it. But push it in with my sky god. Ooh, a little wobbly, but I'll take it. Off to the next hole. But that's why I love having a rask. Get out of jail. Can use as a utility disc. I just highly recommend getting it. It's got a cool bottom lip to it as well. This is hole four. It says it's 223 feet. And it's just down there and a little bit to the right of the T, I believe. I'm gonna, let's go ahead and try a Grim X at it. Keep it low. I'm gonna try the hyzer right on the right. Got through. Okay, Sky God. Let's put it in. Downhill. I got Brad looking at me from the other tee pad. <laughs> oh, close. Hole five says it's 266 feet straight ahead from the tee. OB all left on the road. I'm gonna try to hyzer right on this one. Here we go. Boom. Oh, short. So, I didn't quite get up as much as I thought. Um, I wanted to hyzer it a little bit more out. It's just kind of hard right now with this wind, and I can tell I played in a tournament yesterday, and I am just pretty exhausted right now. But I'm finishing this round because I'm determined. I'm in a brand new course, and I love it so far. So here we go. Sky God. Oh, parked. Well, another par, but hey. Should have been a birdie or an ace. Now uh, the humidity is about 98. Off to hole six. Hole six, 272 feet. I'll go ahead and try my Undertaker at this. Nine speed, try to keep it low. And just go straight at it. A little bit of flex maybe. I've been early releasing a lot of stuff lately. Changing up my form. Older you get, you know, you gotta be smart about the game. Get low. Hey, I'll take that. Undertaker, I'm pretty good. Could have clipped or Clipped a little bit of this, got a little shorter than I wanted to be, but hey, let's push this in.
Let's go! Sky God for the win, baby! Kaka kaka! I've been loving this putter. Highly recommend it. Hole 7 says it's 197 feet, but it is straight through that gap right there. My buddy Derek just gave me this disc Thunderbird Jeremy Crawling T Series. I've thrown them before, it's been years. Thank you, Derek, for this disc. I'm gonna go ahead and try to throw. Well, I, uh, I like that disc. Thank you, Derek. This one's going in the bag. Oh, that hurts, it hurts. Par. Full eight says it's 315 feet. Straight off the tee right there. What is this, nine speed? Some, some, something, I think. Something like that. Here we go. Ooh, got a little, little hysery on me. Oh, so close. The next one. Off the hole nine, here we go. This one's cool. U disc says 302 feet and it's actually a hanging cage. Pretty much straight ahead from the T. We go for a low hyzer right with the crank. Yeah, let's do it. Get through that. Heck yeah. I love me some crank. I mean, the disc. Crank got right up here. Let's go ahead and push it in with the Sky God. Let's have some fun with it. Well, this isn't good. If I miss, I hit my camera. We know I wasn't going to miss. Well, that's it out here at Archer's Disc Golf Course. I believe that was the name. Fun, awesome, nine hole course. I ran into a good friend, Brad Riley. Hello, Brad, and hello to your family as well. It's always nice to run into people, you know, at a disc golf course, especially when you're 30 minutes outside of town. I love it. I recommend coming out here. Like I said, it does cost $5 to get in, but that's a 24 hour pass. And if you're camping, you could play here and a really cool 18 hole course called Bob Mowry. I believe that's the name. And I have a rast there on hole one. So if you find it, let me know. Until next time, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe right below and just get out, have fun. Go play a disc golf course you've never been to before. Or if you've been to it a million times, try some different, play safari maybe. Also remember the most important rule of disc golf, have fun and practice those putts.